This is Barnstable Today for Tuesday, December 9th. Welcome aboard. I'm Mark Mumford. And just a quick reminder, right at the top, all the meetings we share clips from are available in their entirety at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. We are zeroing in today on the latest meeting of the Charter Commission. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Friel. The meeting got rolling with discussion of the Barnstable Municipal Airport and how its management is structured in relationship to the town. This is Charter Commission member Sue Rohrbach. Um, yeah, I think that um, it was helpful to look at the administrative code because it clearly illustrated to me the amount of power that the airport commission has as opposed to any other area of the town. And that power flows from partly from state law um, and partly from the way that the charter is written. So we, there's nothing we can do about state law and there's nothing that we would particularly want to do about state law. Um, but I do think that we should bring the airport commission in line with other departments of the town. Um, and all of these things would get done, but not necessarily by the airport commission alone. It seems to me that the airport manager could be appointed by the town manager in consultation with the airport commission, which it should be. Um, and I guess that the, town, the airport manager would then report to um, the town manager, I would think. Um, so I'm for getting rid of the exceptions. If you remove the exceptions, I believe you would then have the situation, as it's been for every department head, must be under the consultation of the town council. Under the I, I think that there should be something in there that says that the town manager must yeah. do it in consultation with the airport. In a unanimous decision, the Charter Commission voted to remove current exceptions for the airport. Meanwhile, once again, the multiple office issue came up, with memories fresh from the court decision in Town Councilor and Charter Commission member Greg Milne's case. The Charter Commission's consultant offered his perspective. Yes, um, a municipality by its charter cannot bar anybody from running for a state office or Charter Commission. So you can you, locally you can regulate. You can't sit on two elected boards within the town, but you cannot regulate people running for other offices, higher offices. So I think the language you have now, and if you want to put clarifying language about charter commission specifically, even though you really don't have to, but if you wanted to, it's belt and suspenders. Um, you can do that. I think I would recognize a motion from the gentleman at the table to basically say that. Um, no statement should bar anyone elected within the town from serving on a charter commission. Remember, you can find all the charter commission meetings in the on-demand video section at the town's website. That's town.barnstable.ma.us. Meanwhile, the licensing authority had a couple of show cause hearings on their agenda yesterday in town hall. One involved noise complaints against the Fresh Catch restaurant in Night Spot in Hyannis. One of the managers, Stephen Roy, whose father is the owner of Fresh Catch, defended management techniques. Hello, uh, my name is Stephen Roy. I'm the son of Raymond Roy. Um, I'm always there. I'm the manager. I'm from Barnstable, went to Barnstable High School, graduated in 1999. I know the town. Um, I'm familiar with Main Street and everything that goes on, um, all the different establishments that have been there for many years. Um, I've tried very hard. Um, whenever Officer Marr or um, Officer Eaton is called, I've always I've went over to the to the motel. I've tried to s to speak to them. As far as the situation, my father not being there, we also he also owns Salty's Restaurant in Yarmouth. Um, between a, a normal day in July, has him coming in at 6 a.m. doing the paperwork. I come in at 11 to bus tables or do whatever I have to do. I start cooking at four at night. He leaves at about four. The manager Layla Miller comes in, and uh, and then I'm there. I go home, shower. I come back for the for the night. I'm there every single night, seven days a week. There's never been a time when uh, Officer Mars came in that I'm not there. Um, as far as knowing uh, everything that uh, the, the window situation, the windows are are are, are never are, the the one time the windows were opened was the time on September the last time there which was overlooked by, by me, which was my fault, which I was unaware of. That, I believe that was the only problem with the windows that, that we had had. Um, the, sound, the sound situation, I understand, and I've, I've come to understand that the band 
the bands do create a lot of noise, as they do at other bars and restaurants up and down Main Street. And I've tried to talk to them on numerous occasions. I've told them um, that they can be fined personally per band member, um, $100. I've talked to um, Officer Mar. I asked him if he could maybe let them know that they, they would be fined so that they would take it more seriously as opposed to from coming from me. Um, and he said he would. Uh, at the point where um, we realized that the bands were becoming such a problem, we stopped having the bands on Friday nights. Um, even though it affected us because there's many other restaurants and bars that have bands um, and it's, we're just trying to be competitive with what's going on uh, in, the, in the area. Nothing has fell on deaf ears as far as what, I'm, what I, I, I've tried to work with, with everybody. It's very, uh, it becomes difficult at times um, to, to, run, to run a restaurant, run a bar. We're a restaurant first. Um, I'm into food. Food, initially when we went into the situation, it was all about the food. Um, we, we were unfamiliar with the whole bar scene, the Main Street thing. I have come to learn everything as uh, the ins and outs and what to do. And from other, from, from when, I, when I know what's going on at other establishments, as opposed to what happens at my establishment, I feel that I'm doing a very good job, um, as I know that I don't ever drink when I'm, when I'm working. The fresh catch hearing was continued until May. The licensing authority wants to wait and see if the noise levels are down when the entertainment schedule restarts at fresh catch in the spring. Meanwhile, on the lighter side of things, Santa and Mrs. Claus made a dramatic entrance on Saturday evening at Hyannis Harbor. Following the Christmas boat parade, the North Pole residents came ashore right in front of the new visitor center. Here are some of the sights and sounds as the Clauses made their way onto the dock, then through the big crowd to the visitor center to meet with some young admirers. <laughs> If Santa wants to take a break from his Christmas preparations, he can always tune in to the many of the town of Barnstable's meetings being carried live right here on Channel 18. And, of course, just about all the meetings of the many different boards and committees are archived and available on demand at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. On the meeting schedule this evening, the Conservation Commission gets underway at 6.30 in the Selectman's Conference Room. At 7, it's the School Committee meeting in the Town Hall Hearing Room. Also on tap tomorrow evening at 7, it's the Old Kings Highway Committee gathering at the West Barnstable Community Building at 7. Also at 7, the ZBA meets in the Town Hall Hearing Room. And one more meeting at 7, it's the Land Acquisition and Preservation Committee meeting in the Selectman's Conference Room. Just a few quick notes on some items of potential interest. If you couldn't make either of the Health Department's recent flu clinics at the St. George Greek Orthodox Church over on Route 28 in Centerville, you'll have a third chance on Wednesday, and the hours are later in the day than they were for those first two clinics. The next clinic will start on Wednesday afternoon at 3 and run until 6 o'clock Wednesday evening. The flu shots come with a $3 charge and they are for Barnstable residents only. Meanwhile, the Barnstable Village Stroll is also scheduled for this Wednesday running from 6 until 8 in the evening. And the Osterville Village Stroll is coming up on Friday and it's an all-day affair running from 9 in the morning until 9 o'clock Friday night. Be sure to check out Santa Claus. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Kevin Friel. We'll meet you right back here tomorrow. I'm Mark Mumford.